We're back in our roundtable discussion series as we continue our discussion on Addison's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, recently, we have taken you over to the food pantry at Addison Township at their main headquarters here in Addison to show you some of the operations and some of the behind the scenes of the food pantry because since the COVID-19 pandemic began, food pantry clientele has gone up uh, dramatically. And so with us here now in the studio is Addison Township Supervisor Dennis Rebelletti. Mr. Supervisor, thank you very much for coming in once again. Don, thanks for having me back. Pulled you off of the food pantry lines over there along with your crew to have you come over and kind of go over a few things. One thing that I would like for us to get on the table right now is there seems to be some misunderstanding as to whom the township food pantry serves and uh, even to the point of some misinformation that is even going out through social media about who gets served by the food pantry, who doesn't. So can you define what your service area is for the greater Addison community so we all understand and get it from officially now uh, who the food pantry is able to serve? Sure, so the township itself it represents six square miles and we are east of County Line Road. We are south of Devon we are north of North Avenue, and we are east of Route 53. West, you said east, where you're west of County Line Road. West of County yes. Line Road, thank you. Um, so that's our, our, our boundaries. However, we have always served the village of Addison in its entirety under my administration. And I've extended that same courtesy to the entire town of uh, Elmhurst because of the District 205 uh, being a large district and having the Elmhurst Yorkfield Food Pantry mm -hmm. as a smaller pantry. And I want to make sure that when we are, we're talking about the food pantry operations, that one, all those communities and all the residents in those areas will be served, number one. So if I live in Bloomingdale Township in Addison, can I come to your food pantry? You absolutely can, okay. and many have been coming, even previous to the COVID-19 okay. circumstance. Mm -hmm. um, we are also considered what they uh, are call an emergency assistance center, which means because of our contract with the Northern Illinois Food Bank, we will serve anybody who appears and needs help. Now, if you live in, let's say, Glendale Heights and you come to the food pantry, we will help you one time and then refer you to the supervisor's office over in Bloomingdale Township or any other entities that may be able to offer you those services. Uh, but nobody is being turned away from the Addison Township Food Pantry. Now, on these Tuesday and Thursday mornings where you have had upwards of 200 vehicles drive through the uh, line and we've seen that in, uh, in, in some of the, the recent coverage that we brought but you have a lot of cars that are coming through there. Are those primarily township residents then? They could be living in Bensonville for example, Wooddale and then as we've already talked about Addison and the Elmhurst area. Right, those are primarily Addison Township residents. Um, however, there are people who do appear, they've heard about it and uh, they have been helped that live outside of the district, but they are given information uh, as to, to connect them to those other services in their direct area. Is anyone asked information when they arrive that would define where they live before they become a client or become uh, someone who might use the township food pantry service? Sure, so if you were to access our services on the Tuesdays or Thursdays, when you drive up and you would enter off of 401 North Addison Road here in town, uh, you'll be greeted by some of our highway folks, and uh, they will get the information from you. They ask very basic questions. Uh, so we try to keep as much information as possible to give to the Northern Illinois Food Bank so they know what our demands are. Uh, they'll ask you your name, your address, how many people are in your home, and how many children you have in your home uh, if you're on SNAP benefits and how many children under the age of 18, and in particular, are there any infants, to make sure that we're getting the right uh, type of product to you to make sure that you're sustainable throughout the pandemic. And would you say that that's not necessarily to get uh, uh, personal information as it is to report to Northern Illinois Food Bank, so you do have the correct materials and food that you need coming up? All that in information future. remains private with us mm -hmm. and through the township. Uh, and through our caseworkers, even though the highway is helping to gather the information, it's if no different if you called in and met with a caseworker or you were coming to the food pantry prior to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. That information is only shared as in numbers 
and information with the Northern Illinois Food Bank. It's not shared with any other entity. Talk about the difference between the food that you get from Northern Illinois Food Bank and the food that is just outright donated. Perhaps you have a business, a restaurant, uh, some other entity that uh, is dealing in food service or the general public brings in a donation. What's the difference, and do you need one as opposed to the other at this point? Right, and, I, and I, that's a great point, Don. So the Northern Illinois Food Bank is a large warehouse and gets donations from a number of distributors and grocery stores. We're able to purchase those items for about $0.10 cents on the dollar, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, but that helps us make things go uh, farther, and uh, people can contribute dir directly to us to help us to do that. But we are able to order frozen goods, dairy goods, canned goods. However, all of these items have, as everybody is aware, when they go to the store, are in uh, shortages and in great demand. So we also work through what they call Direct Connect. Direct Connect puts us in contact with Walmart here in Addison, with the Jewel here in Addison, with Aldi out in Westmont and Batavia and Elgin. Uh, and we travel all throughout to go directly to those stores to pick up anything that they may have that's extra. And then we receive donations from folks here in town, uh, a number of different entities uh, that have donated to us directly. We are allowed to take those items directly from folks. So if you wanna donate frozen goods, that was brought up to my attention today, I can take them from the grocery store, I can take them directly from a commercial restaurant, but I could not take them if Don Weiss wanted to drop off some frozen goods, I could not take them from you personally. Because you have a contract with Be Direct Connect? Well, it's, we, it's because of DuPage County Health Guidelines, oh, health village department. ordinances, okay, to make sure that we're mm -hmm. making sure that everything is staying through the chain of, of okay. supply. But through that contract, you're able to get a great deal of, of frozen uh, uh, perishables a also. Ab absolutely. Any so perishables. today, as our staff was out throughout DuPage County and beyond, uh, we were able to get an abundance of produce and frozen goods, so uh, we'll be well stocked for next for tomorrow and Thursday of this week. Now, uh, a couple years back, Dennis, the uh, food pantries in Addison consolidated with Addison Township, and by that I mean the churches of uh, the community have food pantries, and it was getting a little difficult of sending people here and there and so on. And now we have kind of a, a consortium of food pantries right. in one is at the township. Does that still continue to function that way in, in basic you know, terms and also during this time right now? It does. The only difference is that many of our volunteers uh, are seniors from the different faith-based groups. And because of the high risk nature, we've asked the volunteers to put a pause on coming in directly. Mm -hmm. um, however, we have asked all the pastors, even previous to these meetings, to make sure that if there is anybody within the community that needs help to help filter those folks into Addison Township through our caseworkers um, to make sure that they're getting assistance as needed. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing I wanna make uh, clear is that in the consolidation, the effort was to make it more streamlined. Uh, the churches had smaller food pantries. We didn't have as much offering and didn't have as much um, frequency of when people could come. By consolidating all of our efforts, we were able to uh, use all the different resources that people could bring and make it centralized, and I think that has paid off dividends for the community. Because you've really you've expanded that food pantry with the freezers and the refrigerators and the prep areas, uh, you have a lot more room to offer out of the 401 North Addison Road building than any of those churches probably would have had combined. That's right. There's overhead that goes with that. It's helping to get the clients directly to us and uh, us having the ability to always staff it and deal with pest control issues and things of that nature mm -hmm. that the churches were having to pay for, but you had a smaller clientele and then how do you store that and how do you have enough commercial grade refrigerators and freezers to do that right now we're operating 15 commercial grade coolers refrigerators and about 13 freezers and that costs a lot of money to do and that's why a lot of the other entities aren't able to do that there's a high 
So there's a high overhead with that. Do you find, uh, Dennis, and then we'll get to the uh, notification that you've been sending out in just a moment, but do you find some people uh, approach it the first time? Uh, when, when we were there, when our crews were there uh, recently, you said somebody had pulled up and was grateful that, that you were operating. It was a lot easier than having to go to the grocery store. Uh, but do you find that some people are coming in for the first time and didn't even realize that this was available with the box and the bag and so on that they get uh, from the food pantry? Yeah, I, I think that they're uh, surprised as to how much they do get and that uh, the frequency of when we do it and then uh, what's available for them. So, as you're aware, previously to this, we were in a, a grocery uh, type store, and people were able to shop, and they, and they call that client choice. Well, obviously, we can't do that since we're close to the public, like the villages. However, we've been able now to streamline the process with curbside pickup. So, those folks are going to be able to come through over 401 North Addison Road, and they'll come through the parking lot. Uh, and at 50 East Oak, the back of our building, they'll be able to get... Very convenient. Yes, absolutely. Who are some of the companies that have been providing some of the food that you have been able to provide to the clients? Well, I, I appreciate you uh, asking that. Maury Milk in Franklin Park has donated over 100 gallons of milk, and we are able to purchase milk from him in a pinch. Perfect Pasta here in Addison donated 15,000 meals that were destined for the airline industry. Um, Domtar here in Addison mm -hmm. donated diapers size one and newborn as well as toilet paper. I hop here, Tony and Michelle were able to pr uh, provide lunch for my staff and volunteers. Oh, that's important. Uh, the other day, it was greatly appreciated. Uh, Rana Pasta out in Bartlett donated some skids of chicken and um, tortellini. Dot Foods donated Nathan hot dogs, which have down the University Park to get that. Yeah. Frito-Lay in Bridgeview has donated a bunch of snacks. Uh, Kraft Heinz out of Manuka. Uh, donated some other items and March Equipment here in Addison, who we buy most of our commercial grade refrigerators and freezers, donated a uh, freezer to us knowing that we had such a strong. Yeah, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, when a person goes through the line, we talked about they check in, they give some information, they drive, pull up, they're kind of waved on in, they pull up to uh, a stopping point where some very nice, friendly people help. Uh, if they load it right into the car, the person doesn't have to get out of the car, which keeps uh, our social distancing rules in place and then they also receive some information there's a letter that goes along with that too and what's what's the purpose of that kind of explaining what the rules are there is story? there's a letter from myself the assessor and the highway commissioner talking about the operations of the township mm -hmm. and about the availability of when we're open how long we're open and the opportunity for people who do need the food pantry and they need it to be delivered, we can do that for senior special needs, anybody who can't get to the food pantry. We also make it available in Spanish, uh, and they will be getting a new calendar with the Tuesday, Thursday dates all the way through May so that people are aware of the opportunities for next month. Uh, let's close by talking about what the days and hours are for the food pantry and um, pretty much anyone, if they have not already availed themselves, could, could uh, participate and uh, uh, take advantage of the Township Food Pantry. Sure. We're open Tuesdays and Thursdays. 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. is for residents, uh, seniors who uh, or special needs, uh, any hardships, 9 to 12 for everybody else uh, on both days. Um, for people who do want to get involved, uh, I'd ask them to go to atcares.org. Uh, people can make donations. Financial donations are the best way to help us directly uh, to leverage some of that uh, ability for us to purchase things from Northern Illinois Food Bank and to cover things we need directly. Uh, also, we're on Facebook, uh, we Addison Township Foundation and Food Pantry. And I want to stress, Don, and to all the residents that are watching, if you know a family who needs help, it's the best thing you can do is to send them to myself, or Sandy Bays over at the township at 630-530-8161. Press one if we don't answer live. We're gonna take your information down and we'll make sure we get food out to you. Thank you very much, Dennis, for coming in and talking with our residents once again about the Addison Township Food Pantry, which operates Tuesdays and Thursday mornings at 401 North Addison Road. And if you have questions or need help, contact the Addison Township offices so they can give you the correct information. And I would also say that the best place to go for information about the Addison Township Food Pantry is go to the Addison Township 
uh, uh, Facebook page or call directly and get the most correct and accurate information about uh, times and who gets to be served from the Township Food Pantry. So thank you very much, Dennis, once again. Uh, if you need information from the Village of Addison, our website is addisonadvantage.org with official information. Our Facebook page, Village of Addison. Our Twitter feed is Addison Village. Don't forget to sign up for the Code Red notification system. And this is a perfect time now, if you haven't already done so, to download the new Addison Connected mobile app so you can keep in touch on the go with what's happening here in the community. And if you want more information to either donate or to get information about the Addison Township Food Pantry, it's atcares.org. That's the website. Thank you very much, uh, Dennis, once again, and we look forward to having you here on our next program. I'm Don Weiss. Thank you for joining us.